T quilts and we're back with the June block for the Nancy Zeman 2017 mystery block of the month we are working on the June block which is called crazy house so I will pull it out for you to see and this block is actually put together as a 25 patch it's actually five rows across and then five rows up and down now I noticed that this is a chisel shape and in order for me to eliminate that shape so that it wouldn't mess the seam up when I'm piecing I like to have continuity so I decided that I was going to cut that shape out with my AccuQuilt Go die I happen to have the chisel die that is three and one half by six and a half so let me show you that now the main thing with this die is that it will cut two chisels so I had no fabric waste and the only thing is you have to make sure that all of your fabrics are placed right side up if you want the same direction if you put your fabrics right side up and right side down as in a fan fold then you're going to end up with a reverse chisel and that's not what you want for this particular block so I opted to cut all of my units with the go die and those are probably going to fall but we'll keep moving on so I needed eight of those so I have my eight chisels and that eliminated eight seams that I wouldn't have to piece back together just by cutting that chisel die so since I was already at the die cutting machine I also have a die that will cut three and one half inch half square triangles would actually cut six at a time so while I was there I went ahead and just cut my half square triangles out of my background as well and then that also removed all of the dog ears so I don't even have to worry about dog ears on this block and then the last things we need is four three and a half inch squares from your background you need four three and a half inch squares from another color which is these squares here and then you need one center three and a half inch square so the first step that I'm going to do prior to laying this block out is I'm going to go ahead and attach all of my half square triangles to my chisel pieces once I do that I will come back and lay this block out so I have all of my chisel units sewn while I was sewing, I went ahead and sewed my green and white units together. Now, on Nancy's instructions, she tells you to strip piece these, and that would be a great idea as well. I just made mine out of squares because I'm cutting fabrics from scraps and didn't have the strips this time. So now we'll just go ahead and lay this block out. And I pressed my seams on the green and white pieces toward the green. And that's important because when I go to press these units here on the side, I'm going to press toward the green. I'm going to press toward the print so that when they nest, they'll nest in opposite directions. And we have the last one. Last set. Okay, so basically I did not have to lay this block out yet, but since that's what I told you I was going to do, I went ahead and did that. Because now all I need to do is sew these four things into pairs, and they're exactly 
alike. They're just rotated one quarter turn all the way around the quilt top. So I am going to sew these into pairs and then I'm going to sew, once these are into pairs, I'm going to sew the green and white piece in between. I'm going to do that for the top and the bottom row, the exact same thing. And then I'm just going to connect these two seams here and I'll have my center row and then I can sew my rows together. So since it's just basic sewing now, I will go ahead and do that sewing and come back. So here's my completed block. And I do want you to note that if I had put a seam through here, how this would have been interrupting my design of my fabric and it wouldn't have had that look of continuity. So that's why I wanted to piece this in one unit. If you don't have the chisel die and you want to piece this so that it's in one unit, you can cut these units three and one half by six and a half and then cut three and one half inch square and stitch diagonally corner to corner and you'll have the same result without having that seam in the middle. So that's it for this block. I will see you next time. And of course, I will add photos of the block as well as the six blocks together. Thank you.